Getting the most out of your ad campaigns is essential these days as online shopping continues to grow in popularity. Increasing the visibility of new products, promoting popular items over lower performing ones, and creating diverse pricing strategies are all tactics you can employ using custom labels in your product feed. When used strategically, custom labels can improve your performance and reduce customer acquisition costs. A custom label is a feed attribute that you can use to filter products into groups by any criteria you choose. Custom labels are only for your use and don't appear to customers. They also allow for more flexibility within a structured framework. With custom labels, you can segment your products into various groups based on similar attributes and adjust your bid strategy accordingly. This additional segmentation also allows you to review performance more granularly and uncover trends and insights. After you have an optimized feed, proper bid segmentation is the next essential step to performing well in search marketing campaigns. Here are eight powerful ways to segment your bids using custom labels for improved performance on Google Shopping. Price buckets allow you to separate your products by their price range. For example, a product that costs $12.99 could fall into the price range of $0 to $50. This label can be especially useful when there are large variations in prices within a single brand or product type. Typically, one can decide on the cutoff points for poor, good, and best performers based off of Google Ad Metrics. Ideally, you'd want to incorporate your performance data from ads dynamically so that these metrics can be updated per product on an ongoing basis. If you know a product has a bigger profit margin, you can create a custom label to increase your bid and vice versa. For example, you may only make $5 in profit on the sale of a hat, but you might make $80 in profit on the sale of a nice watch. Using custom labels, you'll be able to segment your products and bid higher on ads for the watch than for the hat. Another great custom label is for on-sale items. By tagging items as on sale, you can increase the bids as these items are far more likely to convert with the price discount. Seasonal labels like fall, winter, spring, and summer can be used to promote your inventory at different times throughout the year without cycling products in and out of the feed. You may want to use custom labels to separate products by gender. For example, your brand may sell products that are mostly purchased by women, but you may have some items for men within the same product type. If the products for men typically don't perform well, you could use your gender custom labels to exclude those products from the campaign. If you have a new product collection or featured products you want to promote, you may want to bid more aggressively to have your product show more prominently in the top spots of the search results. Identifying your featured collection with a custom label will also give you more ability to measure the performance of that collection. If you offer different types of shipping for your products, it may be helpful to segment your products by those shipping offerings. You might want to see how your products with free shipping are performing in comparison to products that don't offer free shipping. If you'd like more information about how Feedonomics can help you get started with custom labels, reach out to us on our website at feedonomics.com.